Now we're going to talk about how to tell if two f functions are inverses. So we know they're inverses if you switch their x and y. And we also know that two functions are inverses, as we saw in the previous video, if the graphs are symmetrical about the line y equals x. So to show that they are inverses, if you take the inverse function and input it, into function f, into the original function, so we do the composition of the functions, and when we do that, we're left with x, and if we take the original function and input it into the inverse function, and we're left with x, then we know that the functions are inverses. So let's try an example here. So verify that the functions are inverses of each other. So in 10.1, we learned how to do the composition of functions. So the way we read this is that we're going to take the inverse function and plug it in to f in replace of the x. So we're going to take the function f and we're going to take the x out and we're going to replace it with the inverse. So we're going to plug this in right here. So notice the 4 came from here, and the plus 2 is still there, so the 4 is still there. So now we have to simplify this and see if we get x. So we're going to go ahead and distribute. So 4 times 1 fourth is 1x, and then 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And then we're going to bring down, oops, I see I have a mm, typo right here. This should be 12 right here. And now if we simplify this, we see that these 12s are going to cancel and make 0, and we're just left with x. So remember, to tell if, it, if they are inverses, they both have to equal x. So this is not enough to say that they are indeed inverses. So now we have to do it the other way around. We have to take the original function and plug it in for the inverse. So we're going to take the inverse function, which is 1 fourth x minus 3, and we're going to go ahead and take out the x, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in with function f. And then we're going to go ahead and simplify. So 1 fourth times 4 is 1. 1 fourth times 12 is 3. Bring down the negative 3. We could see that those cancel, leaving us with x. So because this equals x, and this one equaled x, then we can say, yes, they are inverses. So let's go ahead and try another one here. So we want to verify if the, that the functions are inverses. So we're going to take the inverse and plug it in for x for the original function. So we're going to take the original function, which is x cubed minus 1. And then we're going to take the inverse function and plug it in here. Okay, so now we need to simplify this, and we know from prior chapters that those are going to cancel, leaving us with x plus 1. Bring down that. And then these cancel, and we're just left with x. So again, not enough to know whether they are indeed inverse, or if they are inverses of each other. So to make sure, now we have to do it the other way around. Now we have to take function f and plug it in for the inverse. So we're going to take the inverse function, and we're going to take function f, 
and plug it in for x. So when we simplify this, we're going to get that those cancel, so we're just left with this. And then we know from prior example or chapters that those are going to cancel, leaving us just with x. So since this simplified to x, and so did this one, then we know, yes, they are inverse functions. All right, one last example here. So we're going to take the inverse function and plug it in for f. So we're going to take f, and we're going to plug in the inverse function there. And the rest of the problem, the plus 1 will stay there, the 2 will stay there, and the 4 will stay there. So we need to go ahead and simplify this. So we're going to distribute the 2. So we'd have 2 times 2 is 4x. And then 2 times 1 half. Half of 2 is 1. And then we have this 1 here. And then we're going to combine the like terms. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then here, when we're dividing by 4, the only thing we could do is divide each of these by 2. And we're left with 2x plus 1 over 2. And there's nothing else left. It cannot be simplified further here. So, in other words, it did not simplify to x. So because it does not equal just x, there's no way to cancel anything out here, then without going any further, we don't need to do the other part. They are not inverses because it did not equal x. Everything didn't cancel out, leaving us just x. So it is not an inverse. They are not inverses of each other.